like I was saying, it's FTX. It's a safe and easy way to get into crypto. Eh, I don't think so. And I'm never wrong about this stuff. Never. Yeah, you may have seen that during the Super Bowl. Larry David jokingly saying he'd never buy into cryptocurrency firm FTX. That ad that he appeared in aired during this year's Super Bowl. That was nine months later. FTX has filed for bankruptcy. Investigators looking at potential fraud and dozens of celebrities, including Larry David, are facing a lawsuit. Let's talk about them with federal defense attorney Ronald Chapman, who's live here on Fox 5. R Ronald, first things first, we, we've seen celebrities endorse products and businesses for years and years and years. That is nothing new. Can they be held liable for the products and companies that they endorse? Well, thanks for having me, Jim. What we have here is a complaint that's heavy on tweets, but very light on the law. Um, can a celebrity be held liable for an endorsement? Under certain circumstances, yes, but in this case, it doesn't seem like the law is so clear as to cause liability. Now, the Federal Trade Commission may come after some of these celebrities for their endorsements, for failing to disclose that they were paid endorsements, but a civil lawsuit, uh, this is a very rare occurrence, Jim. Yeah, it's something we saw, too, with the likes of Kim Kardashian, uh, based on things that they had sold and based on products they had endorsed on Instagram. So I'm glad you mentioned the FTC because that was something we've reported on here. But, but when you zoom out and look at the bigger picture here, clearly a lot of people are out a lot of money at this point. And, and that is an unfortunate circumstance. That, that's something that happens in this economy, unfortunately so. So, so for, what's the recourse for, for many of these people who have lost money? Is this a matter of just trying to find somewhere that you might be able to recoup those losses? Well, and that's exactly what's happening here. They're trying to get blood from a stone, essentially. Um, because FTX is going to be insolvent and investors are likely to only get cents on the dollar, maybe not even that, the creditors will be lining up. They're looking for alternate sources of recovery here. And certainly they're going to look to the highly paid celebrities like Mr. Wonderful, um, like Tom Brady and others who've endorsed this product. But I think motions to dismiss will be flying pretty soon in this case. And I wouldn't be surprised if they were granted. You know, for people who are watching this who may have invested money, I know the, the intent to talk to you tonight was really to get the perspective on the lawsuit there as it stands. But, you know, there are a lot of people out there who have invested a lot of money in cryptocurrency. And, and is there any advice from a legal perspective out there how people can sort of cover themselves in a situation like this? or? Are we too far down the path to do that? Well, we're in a very unregulated industry right now. My hope is that as a result of the FTX collapse, um, there's going to be more regulation and people can trust where their money's going in cryptocurrency. But it's essentially the Wild West, and that's why cases like this uh, continue to happen. I think I would stress that investors do their research, mm -hmm. uh, make sure that they know what they're investing in. And the new flash in the pan idea like FTX may not be the best choice for somebody to put their hard earned money in. Certainly, you want to play around a little bit. Maybe not a bad idea, right? But do your research yeah. first. Um, but if you're not a diligent investor, you've got to be very careful. You know, and, and it's funny because in nine months, uh, we learned a lot about what FTX was. You saw it on, on Major League Baseball umpires uniforms. You saw it on the names of the arena in, in, in Miami and elsewhere around the country. That's all gone away. And, and clearly, there's gonna, going to be a lot we're going to learn about this whole industry uh, very quickly. Ronald Chapman, thank you for joining us tonight. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me, Jim.